Well, keep your eye to the sky tonight. The first super moon of 2024 will light up the night. That's right. Meteorologist KJ Jacobs is here with the top three things to know about tonight's celestial event. Number one, it goes by the name Sturgeon. Number two, it's a super moon. And number three, it's the first of four super moons this year. Super moons are a treat for stargazers. They appear 30% brighter, and you don't need a telescope or binoculars to view the supermoon. NASA Ambassador Tony Rice says the supermoon occurs when the moon's orbit is closest to Earth, known as perigee, at the same time the moon is full. Uh, the moon's orbit isn't completely circular. It's a little bit elongated, so sometimes it's a little bit farther away, sometimes it's a little bit closer. And the supermoon occurs when that full moon happens to occur about that time when the moon is closer. Rice says the name Sturgeon comes from the Great Lakes region. The names got popularized by the Old Farmer's Almanac, which is produced in the Northeast. So they tended to pull from those Northeastern tribes. The August full moon is best seen at moonrise, which is around sunset. Uh, and that's because your eye is gonna have the, the tree line. It's gonna have the buildings. Uh, along the horizon to compare to, and it's going to make it look that much brighter. Mark your calendars. September, October, and November will all have a supermoon. Rice says supermoons tend to occur in groups of three or four in a row. By the 2030s, there could be five supermoons in a row. Tonight's moonrise is at 825, and with clear skies in the forecast, this moon might be hard to miss. Back to you.